Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about navigating the tricky waters of dealing with family and friends' opinions. Whether it's about your career choices, relationships, or lifestyle, we've all faced those moments where others' perspectives can weigh heavily on us. But fear not. In this video, we're diving deep into strategies, tips, and personal anecdotes to help you maintain your authenticity while respectfully handling differing viewpoints. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's tackle this together. Navigating Family and Friends' Opinions, A Comprehensive Guide Introduction to Navigating Opinions Family and friends play a pivotal role in shaping our lives, often providing us with unwavering support and companionship. However, their opinions can sometimes have a profound impact on our decisions, influencing everything from career choices to personal relationships. Understanding why these opinions hold such weight is essential for navigating them effectively. Typically, the emotional bonds we share with our loved ones create a sense of trust and credibility, making their viewpoints particularly persuasive. While it's natural to seek approval from those closest to us, it's equally important to recognize the potential pitfalls of allowing their opinions to overshadow our own judgment. Striking a balance between valuing their input and maintaining personal autonomy is crucial for both our mental well-being and the health of our relationships. This guide aims to equip readers with practical strategies for managing the opinions of family and friends, ensuring that one's own voice is not lost in the process. 1. Understanding the Source of Opinions Understanding why family and friends feel compelled to offer their opinions is crucial in navigating these interactions effectively. At its core, the act of sharing opinions is often rooted in genuine concern and love. Family members and friends typically want what they believe to be the best for you, and sharing their perspectives can be a way of expressing care and involvement in your life. This desire to contribute to your well-being can manifest in various forms, whether it's advice on career choices, relationships, or personal decisions. From a psychological standpoint, people are inclined to share their opinions due to a natural human tendency to influence the actions of those they care about. This inclination can be linked to altruistic motives, where the intent is to provide guidance and support. However, it is essential to discern between constructive criticism and negative feedback. Constructive criticism is aimed at helping someone improve by offering thoughtful and actionable suggestions. It is typically delivered in a manner that is encouraging and supportive, with the objective of fostering growth and development. 2. Assessing the value of different opinions When navigating the often complex landscape of family and friends' opinions, it is essential to develop a method for assessing their value. Not all opinions are created equal and understanding which ones to take to heart and which to disregard can significantly impact your decisions and well-being. The key lies in applying a set of criteria to evaluate the relevance and usefulness of the feedback you receive. First, consider the source of the opinion. Assess the individual's expertise and experience in the matter. For instance, if a family member has professional experience in a field related to your decision, their opinion might carry more weight. Conversely, Opinions from those lacking relevant knowledge or experience may be less valuable and can be politely disregarded. Lastly, evaluate how the opinion aligns with your values and goals. Opinions that resonate with your personal principles and long-term objectives are more likely to be beneficial. If feedback contradicts your core beliefs or leads you away from your desired path, it might be best to set it aside. 3. Communicating boundaries effectively Establishing and communicating boundaries effectively is a pivotal aspect of maintaining healthy relationships, especially when dealing with the opinions of family and friends. When approached with diplomacy and clarity, setting boundaries can mitigate conflicts and ensure that personal needs and desires are respected. One of the initial steps in this process is self-reflection. Understanding your own limits and what you are comfortable sharing or discussing with family and friends is crucial. Once you have a clear sense of your boundaries, you can articulate them more confidently and effectively. Use I statements to express your feelings and needs, such as I feel overwhelmed when unsolicited advice is given or I need some space to make my own decisions. Lastly, consider seeking support if necessary. If certain relationships are particularly challenging, it may be helpful to enlist the guidance of a mediator or therapist. They can provide valuable tools and strategies for navigating complex family dynamics and reinforcing your boundaries without causing estrangement. 
4. Balancing respect and independence. In the complex dynamics of family and friends' opinions, achieving a balance between respect for others' viewpoints and maintaining personal independence is essential. Navigating these interactions requires a nuanced approach, as it involves honoring the perspectives of loved ones while also staying true to one's own beliefs and decisions. This delicate balance can be maintained through active listening, clear communication, and setting firm boundaries. Active listening forms the cornerstone of respecting others' opinions. By genuinely engaging in conversations and showing interest in their perspectives, you demonstrate that you value their input. This doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they say, rather. It shows a willingness to consider their viewpoints. For instance, when a family member offers advice on a career choice, listening attentively and acknowledging their concern can foster a respectful dialogue. 5. Handling conflict and disagreement. Conflicts and disagreements are an inevitable part of navigating family and friends' opinions. However, how we handle these conflicts can significantly impact our relationships and personal well-being. The key lies in fostering healthy communication, effective conflict resolution, and finding common ground. Firstly, maintaining calm and composed demeanor during disagreements is crucial. Emotions can run high, and it can be easy to let frustration take over. Practicing deep breathing, taking a moment to collect your thoughts, or even stepping away from the conversation temporarily can help maintain a level-headed approach. This ensures that the discussion remains productive rather than escalating into a heated argument. Effective communication is foundational in resolving conflicts. It is essential to practice active listening, which involves not just hearing but understanding the other person's point of view. This can be achieved by making eye contact, nodding in acknowledgement, and refraining from interrupting while the other person is speaking. Reflecting back what you have heard can also demonstrate that you are genuinely engaged in the conversation. 6. Building a supportive network when navigating the myriad opinions of family and friends, establishing a supportive network is indispensable. A strong support system comprises individuals who respect your choices and offer positive reinforcement. This network should consist of people who genuinely understand your goals and values and who provide constructive feedback rather than mere criticism. Identifying supportive individuals begins with recognizing those who consistently display empathy and encouragement. These are the people who listen attentively without judgment and offer thoughtful advice rooted in understanding. They are not just passive listeners but active participants in your journey, celebrating your successes and helping you navigate challenges. Cultivating such relationships requires effort and reciprocity. Open communication is vital express your aspirations and concerns clearly, allowing others to understand your perspective deeply. In turn, be receptive to their insights and experiences, fostering a mutually beneficial dialogue. Trust and honesty are the cornerstones of these relationships, ensuring that feedback is always well-intentioned and constructive. 7. Practicing self-reflection and growth. Self-reflection is a fundamental practice when navigating the opinions of family and friends. It allows individuals to assess how external opinions impact their decision-making process and personal growth. By taking the time to introspect, one can identify the extent to which external viewpoints influence their actions and beliefs. This awareness is crucial in developing resilience and maintaining a balanced perspective on the input received from loved ones. Regular self-reflection encourages a deeper understanding of one's values, priorities, and goals. It provides a structured approach to evaluate whether the opinions of others align with one's own aspirations and principles. This practice also fosters a sense of autonomy, allowing individuals to make decisions based on their convictions rather than succumbing to external pressures. In turn, this builds confidence in one's ability to navigate life's challenges independently. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Remember, at the end of the day, your happiness and well-being matter most. Don't let the noise of others drown out your inner voice. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep being true to yourself. Until next time, take care.